friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. It is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I actually shopped at two stores. I have new food finds for you, I'm excited. So if you're excited too, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell's on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend, this is how I've lost 140 pounds and kept it off, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, to ask questions, or if you just want to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and of course my Facebook group. Come join us there. We would love to have you. So let's head on into my kitchen for the grocery haul. So the first part of my haul this week is from Trader Joe's. I made a quick run over when Lola had chemo on Monday and picked up some staples. So let me show you what I picked up from Trader Joe's. So first is flowers, you guys already know. I love having these fresh flowers. They're so affordable. And the ones I bought over a month ago, actually, you can see them yellow right over there on my kitchen table. They actually honestly look pretty good. They're starting to get a little bit, a little bit crusty, so it's time to swap them out. So I picked these up. I thought these were absolutely beautiful. I did a restock of the strawberry muffins. Troy really, really, really liked these. They're gluten-free and he had no idea. He loved them. So highly recommend. I know that they are seasonal. So if you want to try them out, grab them before they're gone. And then I did pick up another bag of one of my favorite things, the Cascio de Pepe. Puffs, these are like a corn cheesy peppery puff. I love them. And then my favorite crackers, as you know, are the multigrain crackers. I love these with tuna fish, cheese and crackers, really just about anything. Some light shredded cheese because this is something we always buy at Trader Joe's. I would have got mozzarella too, but we have a full bag in the fridge. And then I picked up these, these are a summer seasonal chip. I love these so much. It says a mixed bag of sea salt and vinegar, delicious dill, homestyle ketchup, and smoke and sweet barbecue chips. It's like a hodgepodge of different chips. It's so good. I'm going to put these out for 4th of July. And then I did pick up a protein bar. This is one of my all-time favorites from the brand Fulfill. This is the salted caramel. They sell them single at tra singly at Trader Joe's, so I always pick one up. I grabbed some ham because we already went through all of the lunch meat that we bought at Sam's Club. And I love having a half of a sandwich or a sandwich for lunch. I grabbed the hash brown potatoes for Troy. He loves having those for breakfast. I love putting them in the toaster. You put them in the toaster four or five times, they get nice and crispy. I did pick up a lot of dried fruit, which is something I always buy at Trader Joe's. I have two bags of the candied uncrystallized ginger. I always take a little piece of ginger after I eat a meal. It just really, really helps me with digestion. And the ones at Trader Joe's are my favorite. I also got some dried pineapple. All this is is pineapple. No sugar added. So this is zero points. This is seasonal. They don't have the pineapple all the time, but it looked really, really good. And then of course, of course, I already ate some as a snack. Soft and juicy mango. I picked up three packs. That is really my favorite, favorite thing from Trader Joe's. I also counted as zero points because it has the same macros as regular mango. Two spices to restock. I grabbed basil and I grabbed cumin. These are $1.99 a piece. Killer, killer deal. And then I always grab the seasonal candle. It is mango tangerine and it smells amazing. Some dog treats. They had, this was new, crab paws. So these are soft baked crab flavored treats. I know my dogs are gonna love them. Love the artwork on that. I got their Better Than Leftovers. They love these, they're super, super soft. And then I got the organic chicken and brown rice sticks. And then for fruit, just some blackberries and some pineapple. I've been really craving cottage cheese with pineapple. So I grabbed some pre-cut up pineapple. So that is everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's. Let's jump into the rest of the haul. So the remainder of my grocery haul is actually from Fry's, which is a Kroger store. So let me show you what I picked up. They had their Thomas English muffins, buy one, get one free. So I grabbed mine, which are the cinnamon protein. I really like these, very light on the cinnamon. So I can still use these for savory breakfast sandwiches, but you're getting eight grams of protein. So I really like those. And then I picked up the sourdough for Troy. He likes to make breakfast sandwiches. And then I always scour the meat department to see if there's any good deals. And I found their 91% Simple Truth Natural Ground Beef, no antibiotics, 
for $4.50 a pound, normally $8.50 a pound. So I bought everything they had, which was five one pound packages. I just throw this into my freezer. It's such a great deal if you can find reduced meat as long as you cook it quickly or freeze it. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy so that he can have his cereal. And then we actually finished all the Just Bear Chicken Strips that we bought at Sam's Club. I will be restocking next time I go. But for the meantime, I found the Simple Truth Lightly Coated Chicken Breast Bites. These actually have six grams of protein and they were only 120 calories per serving that's even lower than just bear i think just bears 160 so i'm going to try these i really like having these in wraps or on my salad i did grab some fresh mozzarella because i'm going to be making a pasta salad for troy it's a new recipe it's kind of a greek inspired pasta salad and it called for mozzarella I needed little teeny diced ham for my breakfast meal prep. I will be sharing with you what's on my menu for dinners and meal prep after the grocery haul, so stay tuned for that. For that pasta salad, it called for hard salami, so I got these little rounds. I thought that I could either cut these in half or quarter these for the pasta salad. Can of corn, this is for my lunch meal prep. And then I restocked my favorite sugar-free bread and butter chips. These are so good. They taste just like regular bread and butter pickles, but they are sugar-free. They are zero calories, zero points. The pasta salad called for Kalamata olives, so I grabbed Pitted from the brand Pearls. And then Troy asked for a refill on ranch, and I found this Simply Ranch. It's only 50 calories per serving and there's only one gram of sugar So this is something I would eat as well and you know, we've been doing a lot of salads lately I also picked up my chocolate and my low-fat Fairlife milk. This is for ninja creamy ice cream I use Fairlife milk in all of my protein shakes all of my cooking for the added protein and just a ton of produce We're really upping our veggie game and fruit game this month. So I grabbed some baby spinach This is for my meal prep as well as for salads. I needed peaches for my meal prep a red onion, a couple of lemons for water, and then I needed a lime for a meal prep recipe as well. I picked up some fresh strawberries for me just to have as a fruit this week, and then I actually grabbed two bags of the Simple Truth Organic Frozen Raspberries. This is for my dessert for my meal prep this next week. Cilantro and fresh parsley for a recipe, a big bag of avocados. I've been eat eating avocado literally every single day. Some green onions for a recipe and some salads. And then I actually picked up yellow squash and zucchini. I'm going to roast up some squash and zucchini for a side for an added punch of vegetables for a dinner this week. So that is everything that I picked up from Kroger. Let's jump into what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. So today, Saturday, we always go out for dinner or do takeout. Tomorrow, Sunday, Troy wants a salad night. I don't know what kind of salad we'll make, but we've been doing really big salads packed with lots of vegetables. And then on Monday, we're doing chicken burgers with avocado corn salsa. You guys will actually see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm making that pasta salad that I bought the olive salami mozzarella for. And then we'll do leftovers Thursday and Friday so we can finish up everything from the week. Here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm doing a cheddar ham oven omelet. So I'm basically making an omelet in my oven packed with protein. And then for lunch, we're going to do a salad. I told you I've been on a big salad kick, but we're doing a peach spinach salad, and then I'm making raspberry bars. These are like raspberry oat bars that you get at a bakery. Super excited for that. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff I picked up from Trader Joe's and my local Kroger store. New food finds, exciting recipes. I can't wait for meal prep this next week. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love, love, love to have you here. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.